background and training, a psychiatrist and cognitive behaviour therapist, but I'm also a population scientist and health services researcher. And I've been Professor of Psychological Medicine at the University of York for around 12 years and I'm also Director of the UKRI Closing the Gap Network. Well, smoking is the single most important preventable source of ill health and reduced life expectancy right across the globe for all sections of the population. However, um, I remember when I started working in mental health services in the early 1990s, I was struck by just how prevalent smoking was and how disinterested people were in that problem. Smoking is especially prevalent amongst people who use mental health services and forever it has languished in the too difficult box. Tell us about a piece of research that you are most proud of in this area. Well, the piece of research that I'm most proud of is the Scimitar trial. The Scimitar trial is by some stretch the largest trial of a smoking cessation intervention specifically designed to meet the needs of people with severe mental and ill health. And that was a trial that was funded by the National Institute for Health Research. And in that trial, we worked alongside people with lived experience of severe mental ill health to design a bespoke intervention um, that was potentially likely to help people who want to quit smoking to successfully quit smoking and that was a combination of medication and behavioural approaches that we know are useful in enabling people to successfully set a quit date and to stay quit. And in that trial we used a very rigorous endpoint. We sought to establish whether people had successfully quit or um, were continuing to smoke by asking them to breathe into a machine. Um, looking at their expired carbon monoxide and we looked at whether they were able to quit smoking both in the short term and in the longer term. We found four things. Um, I've already said this was a big trial so the first thing that we found was that there was a high level of enthusiasm within NHS services to find an answer to this question. We know that because lots of NHS services contributed to the conduct and the success of this trial. The second thing we found is that when people were allocated to the bespoke intervention, they liked that intervention because we, they engaged at quite a high level and completed the majority of the sessions that were offered. The third thing that we found, probably the most important thing, is that this was an effective intervention. If you were allocated to the bespoke smoking cessation intervention specifically designed to meet the needs of people with severe mental ill health, your chances of successful quitting were higher and you were more likely to quit both in the short and in the longer term. And the final thing we found is um, another important question to NHS services is does this represent good value for money? So there was a rigorous cost effectiveness analysis conducted within the Scimitar trial and the results of that will enter into the public domain this year in 2020 and that shows that it's good value for money. The early data that emerged from China and then Italy and now the United Kingdom shows that people with smoking related illnesses, chronic respiratory illness, ischemic heart disease are more likely to experience an adverse outcome if they contract COVID. So COVID has the potential to disproportionately affect people with severe mental ill health and to amplify the already established health inequalities that exist for that section of the population. And we know when we survey smokers that the majority of them want to cut down or quit, irrespective of whether they've got severe mental ill health or not. And the enduring message from Scimitar is that we can successfully help people who want to quit to quit smoking and in turn that is going to be good for their physical health it's going to be good for their psychological health and it's going to be good for their financial circumstances. Covid has prompted lots of really exciting national initiatives people might have heard of the 
Quit for Covid initiative. And we understand that it's helped over 300,000 people in the UK to quit smoking. Now, it's really important that people with severe mental ill health are not excluded from such initiatives. And Scimitar gives us a sense of how we can establish and roll out successful smoking cessation services. Yeah.